Superman series, we're gonna draw a real superhero. Yeah, we are. We're gonna draw a firefighter. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with, some paper, and... Something to color with. All right, let's start. Yeah. We're first gonna draw our firefighter's nose. I'm gonna draw it right here in the middle of my paper and a little towards the top so that we have room for his body. That's a good spot. You could go a little lower, maybe right there. Next, we're gonna draw the eyes. Let's draw a circle over here on the left and also over here on the right. And these circles are the same size. Or try to make them the same size. Yeah, or, or an oval, I like that too. And you could draw another oval. Yes, good job. Let's draw a smaller circle in the top left. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the little circles white. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, so if you need extra time, remember to pause the video. Next, let's draw a smile underneath the nose. All right, now let's draw our firefighter's face. We're gonna start over here on the left, and we're gonna draw a U shape, goes underneath the smile and back up on the other side. Yeah. All right, now let's draw the firefighter's hat. We're gonna draw a line that connects the left side over to the right side. And I'm going a little past on both sides. I'm gonna draw a girl firefighter and you could draw a boy firefighter. So I'm gonna give my drawing eyelashes. Okay. And then I could also draw longer hair if we want. Okay, now let's draw the ears. Let's draw a C shape on the left and a backward C on the right. And we could also draw hair. Let's draw a curve that connects just over the ear to the hat, and we'll do the same thing on the right side. All right, now let's draw our firefighter's hat. We're gonna start over here on the ear, and we're gonna draw this really cool shape. We're gonna come up like this, and then we're gonna curve back over the eye, so we're gonna stop right above the eye. Good job, there you go. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here on the right side. We're gonna come back, up, and then back over, and then stop right above the eye. Now right here, in between these two lines, we're gonna draw a curve that goes up in the middle, and then back down and connect. Good, now let's draw the top of the hat. We're gonna draw two diagonal lines, one on each side, and towards the top they're getting wider or further apart. Good job, one on the left. Now let's connect these two lines with kind of that same little curve that we did on the front of the hat. So we're gonna start here, and then right in the middle we're gonna curve up, and then come back down and connect to the right side. Good job, and then back down. Yeah, you're doing awesome. All right, now let's draw the rest of the hat. We're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and connects right in line with the head. So right about here, you can start up here and then draw a curve down. Yeah, and then we'll imagine that line or the curve coming through on the other side and coming down over here. So I'm gonna start here, draw a curve that comes through and then down and connect. I like your firefighter. You're doing <laughs> such a great job, Austin. How old are you? Eight. Eight years old. You could be super proud of your drawing. And it's okay that our two drawings look different. It's okay if their drawings look different too, because the most important thing is- To have fun. Have fun and to- Practice. Practice. All right, should we keep going? Yeah. All right, now let's draw our firefighter's body. We're gonna draw two lines coming down from the chin. We're gonna draw them in their firefighting uniform. Okay, and then down here at the bottom, we're gonna connect those two lines together. Now let's draw a line right down the middle for their jacket. And then we're gonna draw a line down here at the bottom that matches the very bottom of our jacket. And then let's draw two more that go across the top. Now this is, I think this is reflective so that they can see each other when they're fi fighting fires. Okay, now let's draw their legs and feet. I'm gonna draw a U shape that comes down, back up, 
And we'll draw the letter U over here for the other leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's a simple way to draw their, their legs. Now let's draw their boots. And I'm also going to draw another line above it for more reflective tape on their pants. So I'm going to draw two more lines over here too on this letter U. All right, now let's draw their arms. We're going to draw a line that comes down, a diagonal line that comes down. Yes, and then we'll connect it into their body. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Line that comes down and we kind of keep it close to their body and then connect it in. Okay, now let's draw their hands. I'm going to draw a small letter U on both sides. Let's draw more of the reflective tape on their sleeves. So I'm going to draw a line down at the bottom for the end of their sleeve and then another line up here, two lines up here that matches the one going across the chest. And then we can draw two over here and then one down at the bottom. All right, Austin, we did it, except let's add a few more details. I'm going to draw a little longer hair on mine. So I'm going to draw a line that comes down from the ear and then connects in. And then we can finish the hat the back of the hat so we can imagine it going through the ear, coming down and then connecting into the head. I'm going to do the same thing but it's just going to be really small. We'll do the same over here on this side. There we go. We're using overlapping to make our drawings look more 3D. Now firefighters use different things to fight fires. They use a hose with water but they also have fire extinguishers. Yeah. Let's draw a fire extinguisher right next to our firefighter. We're going to draw a big upside down U. Then down at the bottom, let's connect those two lines together. Okay, let's add a few more lines across. We're gonna draw one at the bottom. Then we're gonna draw two more right through the middle. And then up here at the top, let's draw two lines going up. Vertical lines, and then a horizontal line going across. All right, let's draw a circle at the top of that shape. Now on this side, we're going to draw the handle. So let's draw a long rectangle shape coming out. So I drew a line out, short line down, and then back in. Now let's draw a curved handle on top. We'll draw two curved lines coming out of that circle. And then connect those two lines with a short line. Kind of ah. looks like a duck. <laughs> kind of does look bird. like a duck. Yeah, some kind of bird. <laughs> <laughs> with a big body. All right, let's draw the nozzle. We're going to draw a curve that comes out like this and then connects back to the bottle or the canister. Then we're going to draw another one that matches right above and next to it. And then down here, we'll connect them together. All right, that's the hose. Let's draw the actual nozzle. Draw a diagonal line coming down and then connect it back in. Let's do one more detail. Let's add a label on our fire extinguisher. I'm going to draw the letter L for label. <laughs> then we're going to draw an upside down L to connect the rectangle shape. Ah, uh, we did it, Austin. Your firefighter looks super cool, except it's going to look even cooler once we do what? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. This part we're going to fast forward again, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished coloring our firefighters and they turned out perfect. I especially love our extra little detail of that small little fire. Did you have fun? Yeah. I hope our art friends take time to color their drawings also. Coloring is one of my favorite parts. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your superheroes. Yeah, you're real superheroes. We love you guys and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.